Throughout the hustle and bustle of the Christmas season, many minds are fixed on Christmas festivities, dinners, bonuses, and those in-laws that just have to stay with you through the holidays. However, many of us forget the reason for the season. If you didn't, good for you. But if you did, let us remind you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not, oh, oh my goodness, wrong story. That's about Santa Claus. <laughs> a long time ago, lived a woman named Mary who lived in a town called Nazareth. One day, an angel appeared to her. Mary, Mary, you're not going to believe this. You're going to give birth to a child and you will name him Jesus. What? I mean, I will happily serve the Lord and his will be done. Mary married a man named Joseph who was a carpenter. Look, Joseph, it's a blessing from God. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd be so happy. Nonetheless, they began their journey to a town called Bethlehem so that Joseph could pay his taxes. Mary went with him on the long, hard journey, even though it was almost time for her to give birth to her baby. I'm so tired and hungry. Are we almost there? Do you know where we can stop for some chocolate-covered pickles? We were just at the last stop. You know, 7-Eleven was back there. You should have asked. You know, I would have pulled over. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, it was crowded, and they looked for a place to stay. What do you want? Please, my wife is pregnant, and we need yeah. a place to stay. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> Please. Am I a doctor? Does my shirt say doctor? No. Are you guys doctors? Are you, no? You a doctor? No? Yeah. Uh, okay, look. It's an inn, not a hospital. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> what, what do you what, what, look, 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 man. Uh, the journey's been hard. Not even three minutes in. She started asking for chocolate-covered pickles. Okay. Please, we need a place to stay. I have this stable. It smells really bad. I haven't cleaned it in like three years. I'm pretty sure there's a donkey that's dead over there. But um, if you really want to stay there, I wouldn't recommend it. But if that's what you want, you can take it. All right. Thank you so much. Look, man, personally, that sounds like a five-star rating, especially in Bible times. Oh, that's pretty good. Though. Thank you. Thank you. Joseph led Mary to the stable where she gave birth to her baby boy. His name is Jesus. <laughs>
Nearby, there were shepherds in a field watching over their sheep during the night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were afraid. Go away! Mommy! Don't, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. A child is born in Bethlehem today, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Huh? What? There's a very important baby that's just been born. Like, he's a big deal. Oh, awesome! The sky filled with angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Look in the sky, angels! Let's go to Bethlehem and find the baby that the angel told us about. Good idea, let's go. The shepherds went to Bethlehem to find Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. They worshipped him as he slept.
wise men arrived in Bethlehem. Where is the baby boy who is king of the Jews? We have been following a star in the east. We want to give him gifts and worship him. I have brought him frankincense. I have brought the baby gold, which is the best gift in my opinion. <laughs> but wait, there's myrrh. Thank you so much. Myrrh of what? Ha! <clears throat> the birth of Jesus brought hope to many people. He grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with both God and man. He was the son of God, sent to save all those who believe in him from their sins. This is what scripture says happened. But I can't help but to wonder what really happened. They may not have really praise dance when the birth of Jesus happened, but I, I, I mean, that doesn't mean we can't celebrate like that now, right? Right? So Isaiah 9 and 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. How can we not get excited about that? How can we not be thrilled to share the gospel and to tell people about our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords? We should be thrilled. We should be thrilled to share the true reason for the season. So here's your chance to stand to your feet and to celebrate with us.
And if you don't know, now you know. Hallelujah, Jesus. Well, praise God. That was absolutely awesome. Come on, let's give it up for all of these wonderful young people and children. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. 